RJ Barrett was totally snubbed from the all rookie team. I think that he arguably has the best vision of anybody in his draft class. And you're going to see what I mean with some pick and roll examples. Okay. Watch out. He can spot guys all the way across the floor. Um, so here we have uh, Marcus Morris before he ended up on the Clippers, right? That's, that's an easy assist for him. Again, guys, all the way across the floor. He's got great vision. All right. You're going to see even more examples. All right, here's another one against Dallas. He's going to come down, right? Boom, laser right on the money, right in the shooting pocket, okay? It's not just the vision to see the guys. It's where he actually hits them. This is impressive. You're going to see the same play twice in a row. Defender comes off Julius Randle in the corner. Perfect pass to him um, for a three. And they're going to run this play, like, right again. Again, same exact play. The defender stays on Randle, so Mitchell Robinson gets the lob. My guy, RJ Bear, dude, his IQ is through the roof. Shout out, Canada. All right, here we, here we go again. Another pick and roll. This looks like a shot. This is a pass to Mitchell Robinson. How many players in the NBA can actually complete that pass? I'm not sure how many can do it. I love this kid's vision. Okay, here we go again. Perfect lob. There's a reason Mitchell Robinson sent the, the field goal percentage record this year. And RJ Barrett's passes to him are, are a huge part of it. All right, so here we go again. Nice little pass right here, right? Super effective stuff, even if it doesn't always look incredibly sexy. He gets the job done, all right? Here we go again. More pick and roll. Patience, 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 patience. Hang in the air. <laughs> Yo, this is like, this kid is going to be very, very good for the Knicks. Okay, now something he needs to work on. He initiates contact, but doesn't always create separation. He's going to get stronger over, over time, and he's already a strong dude. But watch him again, right? He's going to initiate the contact. We want this right we want him to do that right administer pain as michael jordan said right but he doesn't create enough separation and and guys bother him so he, he either needs to um create more separation with his strength or just get better at finishing or a combination of the two but you know he's such a hard worker and people really rave about this kid that i do think he's going to get better around the rim and, and learn how to take advantage of his, his natural gifts and his body because he's already built pretty well Right, but you shouldn't be getting blocked uh, twice by my guy Herder. Right, I don't know if that's a good look. Okay, again against Dallas. Right, tries to initiate, doesn't move. Uh, my guy Maxi Kleber. Right, who's who's pretty freaking good in his own right. All right, but he does have a different type of separation. He's got some off the bounce stuff. The shots aren't falling yet. Okay, but this is such a tough skill to be able to um, separate, and give yourself this space. Right now, this is his. Um, this is his tipping point skill. So what do I mean by that? His career will probably um, go, I don't want to say either way, but uh, if he can if he can create this shot, he can be a perpetual all-star, maybe even all-NBA guy. If he can't hit this shot, then maybe he doesn't. But right there, I mean, that looks pretty dang smooth to me, right? So here we see it again, right? The separation. If he starts hitting this, it really, really, really extends his ceiling for sure. So Knicks fans should be happy, man, and they should they should want him to uh, practice as many shots as he can, as he can of these uh, in the game. All right, here we see it again. Poof! Right, that starts to fall. I mean, you got something on your hands here. Now, I want you to watch his guide hand while shooting three pointers. Okay. Look how awkward it looks. He started out the year really hot from three, and I don't think he's a lost cause. I think he's a guy who can get to like, you know, between 35 and 38% and kind of fluctuate between there. So between league average and a little above league average, um, but he's really just got to, you know, uh, uh, hammer down a motion that works for him because it just doesn't look comfortable. Look how uncomfortable his guide hand looks here. Yeah, I don't know about that, right? Like, does that look natural to you? It doesn't look natural to me, right? Here, we're going to get one more of them. So if he figures this out, right, and even gets to just respectable 35, 36%, man, it's really going to change his career. Now, he is elite at drawing fouls, okay? How elite am I talking? So uh, he finished in the 92nd percentile for drawing shooting fouls. Now, he needs to convert when he gets to the line because he doesn't have a great touch, you know what I mean? But... He's so good at drawing these fouls, and that's going to be huge for his career, right? So for guys that are um, like average three-point shooters, the way they retain efficiency, efficiency, look at that word. I need to get better at speaking. 
um, the way that they stay efficient, right? I'll just throw you the change up like that, is by getting to the line and converting there, right? Another famous New Yorker that did it was Carmelo Anthony. Um, if he gets better at that and improves on the other things I talked about, New York really is going to have an all-star on their hands. So uh, something to monitor going forwards. But uh, remember, subscribe, subscribe. Thank you.